Hello, I'm Mark Schultz, and this is Rory Lewandowski. We're with Ohio State University Extension, and we're out in alfalfa fields today. Rory is uh, scouting for alfalfa weevil damage. So, Rory, uh, what's the main problem with this uh, insect? Yeah, the alfalfa weevil, it's uh, really a pest of first cutting alfalfa, and uh, we're really concerned with the larval form of it, the caterpillar form. It's a chewing insect, and so it can, uh, depending upon, again, the extent of, of the amount you find in the field, can really shred a plant and cut back on your yield. Now, normally we have some biological control going right. on with this pest. Uh, we have three different parasitic wasps, also a fungal pathogen that attacks us. So many years we don't have a buildup, an economic buildup of right. uh, damage, but it seems like that's happening a little more frequently now than we used to have in the past. So what do we need to do to check an alfalfa field uh, for the damage uh, by this pest? Okay, well to do the scouting, uh, you again, you wanna make sure that you're doing random scouting uh, checking probably four to five areas for every about 25 acres. Uh, so you need basically a white bucket, uh, maybe a, a knife, or, or you can snap stems off with your finger, and then you need a, a tape measure. And so with this, uh, we're gonna go out into an area, and uh, we're gonna collect uh, 10 different stems that we're going to cut off uh, basically at, at ground level. So uh, in this bucket, I've got uh, 10 stems that I've collected randomly. And once you've collected that, uh, then what you have to do is, is to go out and actually then just beat those stems against the side of the bucket. What we're trying to do is to dislodge those larvae that may be feeding. They typically feed in this, the tips of the alfalfa plant. And so we're just gonna beat them against the side of the bucket. And uh, after we do that, do that pretty vigorously, then we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna take a look in our bucket and see if we can see uh, any type of larva in here. And they do range, uh, there's four different larval stages. They start off very, very tiny. Uh, they'll go through four larval instar stages and get up to maybe about three, three eighths of an inch at, the, at their height. And, and they're very small, lime green color, have black heads yep. with a white stripe down their back. And early when you're scouting, uh, you know, they can be very light colored. You may not see that stripe, but that black head is really characteristic. They stick out. And so again, with this one out of 10 stems, uh, we only saw two larvae that are actually in, the, in this bucket. So very low number. And the other thing you wanna check is for evidence of feeding, tip feeding on the stems, as shown in this picture here. Uh, so it'll have some pinhole feeding, shredding of the leaves, and you count how many stems have that feeding. Right. And that percentage of stems showing feeding, along with the number of larvae that you find per stem, uh, affects what the economic threshold is. And it depends on the stem height of the alfalfa as well. Right. As shown in this chart. So generally you can see that uh, the, the shorter the alfalfa is, the more sensitive it is to that feeding. As the alfalfa gets taller, it can tolerate more damage. And as it gets taller, instead of maybe recommending a rescue treatment, if we were over threshold, we would recommend an early harvest if at all possible. And then on the regrowth, if you don't spray, and especially if you're organic, you wanna check the regrowth as it's starting to grow back. Right, and I'd say uh, there have been years where we've been maybe close to threshold or a little bit over, uh, that's really, that would be the critical time then make sure you check that regrowth because again you're you starting off with very small obviously uh, shoots coming out and if you've got larval there they can really again do a lot of damage at that point okay thank you for listening this is mark schultz with roy levandusky wayne county extension educator